In this video, we are going to look at Demand Control Ventilation, or DCV. DCV, rather than being a specific system type, like the ones in the last video, is more a strategy of ventilating buildings that can be applied to many of them. So what is it then? Well, DCV is a way of ventilating buildings that looks at their air quality and controls the systems based on, well, demand. Let's explain. Every home, or room for that matter, will have a rising or falling need for ventilation. In a bedroom, you go to bed, you wake up and go to work. In a bathroom, you might shower in the morning, then leave. Someone else might shower in the evening, brush their teeth and so on. In a kitchen, well, you get the idea. At a whole building level, people come and go, going about their daily lives. Every home is different, every day is different, and over the lifetime of a home, families grow and shrink. In the past, we had to pitch a guess at how much ventilation was needed. This might be on an average family, it might be on the performance of the house or its size. It's where we hear things like half an air change an hour or eight litres a second. The trouble is, a guess is a guess. Ventilate too much and you might cause thermal discomfort, noise problems and waste energy. Ventilate too little and you might affect air quality and as we pointed out in the first video, leaving the occupant to control it is not without its risks. This balancing act was one of the reasons MVHOR has become popular, as a way of ventilating enough but doing so efficiently. But if you think about it, even MVHOR without smart control is a bit like inventing an energy efficient light bulb and insisting all the lights are left on. Demand control ventilation or DCV is a way of adjusting ventilation automatically according to demand, with sensors that measure air quality or need in every room, in every dwelling, at any time. This approach is as logical as controlling your heating with a thermostat and can be applied to many systems from passive stack ventilation through mechanical extract systems to MVHR in individual homes and collectively in multi-family buildings. So, as the occupants of a home wake and go about their day, come and go, cook, shower, rest and socialize, the system will react accordingly, ensuring that the right amount of clean air is delivered where it is needed and when it is needed, securing good indoor air quality faster than a fixed system. And, when appropriate, the system will reduce the airflow and save energy. Is it new? Not really. Founded in the early 80s, when the hygroscopic nylon strip was patented by the first laboratory and founded by Pierre Jardinier and the company, Erico have been using DCV now for over 30 years, with many millions of systems installed all over the world. The humidity-sensitive strip is still used today, providing a reliable, accurate and robust way of measuring moisture and controlling ventilation. Did you know that almost everything we do in our homes that creates pollution has a link to moisture? If you think about it, from the obvious, such as the moisture present from cooking, cleaning, washing, drying, to the less obvious, such as the moisture or CO2 present in your every breath. By tracking moisture, we also effectively track the occupant, which means if other pollutants are present, like odours or VOCs, for example, it's a great way of limiting our exposure to these as well. We can also help the system by using other sensors like a presence detector that can boost the system if we create odours, for example, in a toilet. The nylon strip reacts to moisture in the air by stretching and shrinking in a defined way, allowing us to control how open or closed the fresh air inlets are. It does this very accurately and consistently without the need for a power supply. The strip is very reliable and lasts a very long time. In fact, we are so confident in this that it has a 30-year guarantee. All of our systems connected to these grills are designed to react automatically, increasing and decreasing the flow of air through them. This means the system as a whole, whether it's passive stack ventilation, continuous mechanical extract ventilation, hybrid or MVHR, provides consistently good indoor air quality and energy efficient ventilation on demand. 
Many countries now recognise the benefits of DCV, with different types of systems and sensors on the market. It's important that you understand what you want, and be confident that the system you ultimately choose will control indoor air quality effectively.